Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can to get the weekend game. Last episode of Can't Play Half-Life 2, we made our way through City 17. Barney assisted us through the Nexus, the Overwatch Nexus, and Dog opened a pathway down here to the Citadel. And in this episode we are gonna finally enter the Citadel. I really don't know what to expect from here, but whenever there's a dead body, that's always a great sign. You know, dead body, crows, ah, yeah, the usual. Wow, you can't even see really up there. That's incredible. So from here, well, it looks like the citadel is just pounding into the earth, so I guess we're going to take these rocks. I don't see anywhere else to go. Okay, so... Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That's really cool. The fact that we can interact with those rocks. See how far down it is. Pretty far down. Could have told you that though. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a leap. Oh wow, more. That's just really cool. That's a nice little effect. It really adds into the environment. Oh god, no! Okay. That one got me. Should have expected that to be honest. Random head crab, but what you gonna do about it? Now, it looks like I'm probably gonna need to jump on that, but. I don't know if I can make it when it falls, because I know it's going to pound into the earth again. And I wonder what's down there, because obviously we can't see too well. Ooh, took a little bit of damage from that. And not too bad, though, considerably. Can't go that way. Let's see where else to go. Oh, got to be careful of that. Alright, so we are back, or not back, but we're finally in the Citadel, I guess. And it's cool, because look at the... I wonder what that's supposed to be. Ooh, probably could have gone that way. This was not the right way, but I wonder if we're going to find Eli or Alex, because that's what I'm really curious about. I mean, we lost Alex and found out she was taken by the Combine, and of course Eli was taken by Dr. Mossman, so eventually we have to meet them again. And look there, there's those pods that Eli was in when we went to Nova Prospect. So definitely think we're going to see some of them. And I will tell you all about it when we see them again. But anyway, let's continue. It's really weird to see them. And I think they're empty? Or at least that one looked empty. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, more more areas to go. Whoa. What? Those definitely look empty. Wonder what that's doing to them. weird because we can just see them they are empty are we gonna have to go in one maybe I think we are what an interesting twist I don't want to go on that side though because that side looks like I'm gonna die unless we're just supposed to like maybe get in it and no it looks like we have to get in it can we no oh thank god that makes more sense Terrifying though. Actually, maybe we need to get on the other side of it. Yeah, holy crap, we are. This is weird because this is like true first person. We don't even get our hands. I'm pretty sure we're dead. But we have the suit, right? So. Okay, come on, don't die. Don't die. Okay, that was kind of expected. I guess we were supposed to get on the other side then. And I'm pretty sure if you knew that, you were like, no, Andrew. So I guess we just gotta get a little closer to it. But it's interesting to see that. Because I, I noticed the other way doesn't seem to get fried. So I guess we just have to jump in it. There we are. That's odd. I tried to do that the first time, but it wouldn't let me. Oh well. So I guess we're going to see another side of the facility. That's a scanner, isn't it? So weird. But this is so surreal to see this. Just looking at all the wiring and looking at that. Oh god, don't go towards the light, Dr. Freeman! Oh crap. I wonder what our benefactors have in store for us. Because that's the name of this chapter. Our benefactors. 
Holy crap. This was unexpected. This is so beautiful, though. Look at this. You know what this reminds me of? In the Star Wars prequels, when you when they're going through that night city, I can't think of the city's name, but that's what it reminds me of. But this is gorgeous. Like this is so incredible. Holy crap, what is that thing? Is that the Is that the Combine's like purest form? We can just kind of watch the pods that displayed and carried the humans around. So technically, we're just in the enemy's base, and it's weird to see what they're doing. Like, how they handle situations. I don't know if any other, like, pods are going the same trajectory as us. I want to remember to zoom in here. Ugh. The wiring and stuff. Look how many there are as well. The striders. It's so weird to see like the manufacturing plant. Well, not even the manufacturing plant, but just the enemy base. And seeing the striders, the things we've been fighting, in set so close, but yet they won't suspect a thing. I'm just really, really taken by this. And then there's some combine up there. Some just patrolling it looks like. Whoa, what's what's going on here? What are they getting ready for? They shouldn't have any idea. Any indication, really. Whoa. Those are the those are the gunships who usually fight. Whoa. And then there's a train. With even more pods on it? Oh god, this looks terrifying. This is just... I'm sorry, I'm just so blown away by this. It's just really cool to me. I wasn't expecting this at all. And I wonder what it looks like, because from a third person perspective, I'm pretty sure they can just see Dr. Freeman in this pod. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, no! Whoa. What's that blue aura? Confiscation field engaged. I can barely move. Oh crap. They're taking our weapons. I love watching the crowbar float in space, and then there's the gravity gun. They couldn't take the gravity gun. Oh god, how are we... Whoa, they modified it so where we can use it against humans. That is weird. Look at that. Look at this ragdolling. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Wow. Dr. Breen. It doesn't shock me with the... Whoa, whoa. Suit can go higher than... Awesome! Just the fact that it can do this right now is amazing to me. So I guess, I mean, a lot of you, I was asking why can't it work on humans. I guess this is what you were trying to tell me, that it would spoil if you told me. So weird to see, though. Like, it shouldn't work on humans. Like, the ragdoll physics on them is hilarious, though. Like, look at this. Look at this combine. Gonna put him out of his misery. That's a long drop. I hope I can use a human... To launch a human and hurt a human. I can. This is kind of hilarious. But one thing I'm noticing is that it disintegrates their weapons. The gravity gun is very OP. But it's awesome. It's just amazing to take them out so 
so like easily too because these are the elite right you shouldn't be able to but here we are and the pull on this thing now is incredible I'm just enjoying this because like I like this is definitely an end game kind of bonus it feels like because I was not expecting the gravity gun to be this strong and it's cool that the field didn't work. Under other circumstances, I'd like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it, but there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. So Dr. Breen was the head of Black Mesa. That's interesting. So essentially, that's Gordon's ex-boss. That's that's interesting. I'm loving the gravity gun right now. Whoa, what did I accidentally do? Kind of want to blanch you in it again. <laughs> that that is cruel. What did he think that was going to accomplish? Please tell me. Ooh, what does this button do? Okay, it puts me up higher. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was super cool. So, can we just keep, like, using these? Or is this the way we're even supposed to go? Like, I don't think it was. Oh, wait, yes, it was. I want to take one of these with me. It's just a lot of fun to use. And I love how much suit we get up here. That makes sense. Oh my god, that thing is super fun to use. Like, look at that. Go ahead, keep using it. I just want to keep using those spheres of, like, power. I don't know what to call them other than that. And those... Just go ahead and launch one. I just want to keep using it. It's fun. Like watching that thing go off. Like this is... Oh, there's more here. Like that just seems like the most powerful weapon I have right now available to me. So I'm just going to keep using it until I find our other weapons, but even then, I don't know if I want to use them with how much fun this thing is. Like, look at this. Nothing's going to compare to this for me. Especially when, how OP it is. Like, this is just overpowered as all can believe here. Even then, even with how OP it is, like, I can still take them out. Like, what are these spheres I'm using against them? Obviously, it's some combine tech, but more specifically, I'm sure it can go deeper than just combine technology. Wonder if Brian will give us another speech. Nah, not, not not his style. I'm loving the gravity gun. Let me know what you thought about the new and improved gravity gun. I guess I'll call it Gravity Gun 2.0. It's really powerful, and I'm loving it. Are we going to see what's through this light? Of course not. Your mentors are partly to blame. Of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. So he believes Eli and Dr. Kleiner are the reasons I'm, or Gordon Freeman is who he is. Obviously, I'm pretty sure even if Gordon wasn't mentored by them, that he would still come to the same conclusion. That his answer, I say jokingly, for humanity, like, it doesn't take a physicist from MIT to realize what he's doing is wrong. Like, human beings for better or worse, have that factor that they do not, nor should they, be overtaken. It's kind of a survival thing. And I don't agree with 
the fact, his methods actually, and I find it cool. I mean, you can kind of make your own judgment on it too, and that's what this game kind of encourages. Let's see, let's turn this off. I want to see what that does. Oh god, oh god. I want to take that out. Where did they even. Oh. I want to use that. Oh god, oh god, now it's, now it's getting what I expected. That was a little bit of lag. Okay. We've done something, obviously. They're gonna try to turn that on. Did I... Did I make a mistake here? Okay. Adam. Atama. Atomizer. I don't know what that does. But... I'm just gonna keep keeping them down. Come on. Nope, not today. Nope. I think we are starting to become better off anyway. I think we need to be on that platform that I accidentally launched without myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're required to do here. <laughs> I can just use it. Not sure how far we're going up here, but all right, that's pretty awesome. Weird to see, though, kind of what we're doing and what we're changing as we go up. Oh, where? Where's the damage coming from? All right, let's keep let's keep at it. Obviously, I don't see where else we can go, so this has to be the right project or not. I love watching just, you know, seeing where these balls of energy go. And of course, I know you will tell me their official name. I have no, no doubts of that. This is just, honestly, I don't care that they've taken my other weapons. This has just been so much fun to work with and, you know, deal that, honestly, whatever kind of happens... Okay, I've died, but still, that was honestly a lot of fun. So, I'm just going to use this. Take that. Take that out. And now we slowly elevate again. So, the balls of energy, I'm not really too sure what they are. I know what they're doing. And I don't know how far this thing goes up. Maybe I should just start launching them. Allowing them to kind of bounce around indefinitely. Okay, I definitely know there's something I should do here. Sweet. Took them all out. Now I know I can't leave that. The next kind of level I have is right here. These two. Actually, there's one right in there I have to worry about before I even get to them. Okay, so. Which way do we go? There's two paths. Looks like there's obviously this one path is gonna have the right way. Or not, there's even a higher path. How high are we going? Who knows? I found out where we're supposed to go. Waiting for a brief speech. Well, if I could speak in-game, I would tell you the resistance movement, 
human rights. You know, just general little minor things. But maybe you shouldn't think about that. Food for thought. Holy crap. Just watching this thing being used on humans. So bizarre. Like, I'm not used to it. I love how they're like, contact, no. Okay, we're gonna keep coming this way. Until I find a better path. Some health. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Wow. He really believes that. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be it for today. Let me know. What were your first and initial thoughts of playing through the Combine Citadel? I'm really curious. But that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be it for today. Let me know what you think of Dr. Breen's speeches, the improved gravity gun, those spheres, what are their names, and all that and more. Let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. As always, I hope you have a great day.